What is up guys, today we'll be talking about League of Legends Wild Rift because a lot of new gameplay was shown in a Dev Diary video two days ago and um, yeah, so I thought I would show you my favorite parts of the gameplay shown if you guys haven't seen it yet and a lot of you guys asked me to give you my thoughts and opinions about um, what was shown so far and I have to say I am very very excited also I will show you some Nacroft gameplay in the background of this video for you to enjoy but um, yeah I have to say, I am super excited. It looks really, really clean. They improved a lot of things since the last um, uh, gameplay that they've shown and the leaks that we have already seen about a year ago from the China China's alpha test, I think. And um, yeah, not only are they showing gameplay this time, but they also um, told us the specific date for the first alpha test, which will be in Brazil and Philippines only and Android only, and it will be a very small... Um, amount of players that will be able to play but um, so guys most likely I won't be able to play unfortunately but I will try to get footage for you guys I will try to find other content creators who will send me some videos of them playing and commentate over them if any of you guys actually get into the beta uh, I mean alpha excuse me and uh, want to share videos with me and uh, want me to commentate over them on my channel Feel free to do so, um, just let me know in the comments if you end up getting in, because I would be very glad, just message me on Discord. And um, yeah, we will just show some um, gameplay here, and as I said, talk over the most uh, exciting things for me. For example, this one, you can see they actually changed the red and blue buff from uh, the PC variant, because these buffs actually level up in the late game, which is really exciting to me, because it... I think it will add another major objective um, in Wild Rift, which would be really fun to play around. Of course, they have the Scryer's Bloom, the Honey Fruit, all these little fruit and, um, you know, the vegetables. You gotta eat your vegetables, boys. You gotta eat that Blast Cone. Um, as I said, guys, they have all the stuff that we know and love from PC League of Legends. If you don't know it yet, um, you will soon know it. Hopefully, hopefully we will be able to get our hands onto this game very soon. As you might be noticing, I am very excited. And um, here you can see, they actually said that, um, I mean, we already knew this, but last hitting will be super important. And um, not only will last hitting be super important, which is really cool, by the way, because it will give you that, um, it will give you that chance to outplay your opponent in lane and gain a huge advantage in gold without just killing them, you know? Because sometimes you can't kill them, but you can always get a huge advantage in these games where you have to focus on last hitting. What you also saw there is that you have to go back to base to buy your items, which they finally officially confirmed now, I think. Before that, it wasn't sure. Um, they were still testing stuff. But I think now it's conf officially confirmed that you have to go back to buy items. So that's going to add a lot of more depth as well to the game because, um, well, you will have to time your back parts you will have to time your power spikes, when to go back, for which items to go back fast, which items to just keep farming more a little bit maybe, because they're not a huge power spike. And um, yeah, so it's really exciting that they confirmed this. I also showed you how the jungle will work. You will be able to update your punish, which is smite in League of Legends, um, after you uh, defeat four jungle camps, which is pretty cool. So you won't have to go back to buy that item like in PC League of Legends, where you can slow the enemies. You will just be able to gank immediately but yeah as you guys see the gameplay i think looks absolutely amazing um there's a lot of small little intricacies i mean it will be very similar to the mobile moba that we know and love already um but they are changing some things and this is one huge one of them warding okay there will be um there will be fog of war and i'm really glad that they're adding proper warding because in the Chinese alpha tests that we saw, the leaked footage uh, about a year ago, um, the wards were actually just in a bush, like in every bush there was a small ward and you would have to stand on top of it for like two seconds to capture it and then it would work as your team's ward. And if the enemy goes into that bush and captures the recaptures the ward, then it works for them, right? So you'd have to play around the vision game. But they decided to scrap that idea, which I'm really glad about, and just give everyone uh, wards to um, just place uh, with that uh, yellow trinket that we know from PC League of Legends 
and then it will be in the top right corner over your abilities, similar to my Arctic Orb placement um, here. And then, yeah, it's very exciting because that just means it's gonna be uh, like there's gonna be a lot of lot of um, macro being introduced compared to Arena of Valor, Mobile Legends, um, all of these games. So that is pretty exciting, guys. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, because that probably means we won't have, and I don't think Riot wants that. I don't think they want a roaming support like there is in other mobile mobile. I think they want the dual lane in the bot lane, um, marksman and support. And I think that's a lot of fun, you know? I think a lot of people really like that dual lane mechanic. I really liked it when I played PC League of Legends as well. And um, yeah, having wars is gonna enable that, I think. Because otherwise you really need that support to just roam around and provide vision for your team. And um, here you can see some really sick team fighting here with that Malphite and the Orianna um, ultimate, a very classic move in League of Legends. Very enjoyable, guys. I am super looking forward to it. And yeah, also um, I'm not sure what else I um, what else is gonna show up next in the in the video. I edited this yesterday, but um, I also want to talk about the heroes because you guys asked for my opinion, right? So I'm gonna bring in some of my favorite oh yeah the items can't forget about the items there is going to be active items uh, you can see it right there um, above the flash and the cool thing about this is it's going to be tacked onto your boots guys okay so you can buy the active items any active item from league of legends you can just buy the active but only one per hero um, on your boots and it costs 500 gold maybe they will change that in the future but what this enables is basically everyone can have Zonias or Arctic Orb in Arena of Valor. Because usually a marksman wouldn't have that ability to go into stasis. But in Wild Rift it will be possible because it's not going to be tacked onto an AP item. Um, it's just going to be tacked onto your boots as just the active without any AP stats. So that's going to be super cool to see. And you saw the Ash just uh, use it there to dodge that Ziggzolt. And um, yeah. Also... As I said, guys, I want to show you some of my favorite heroes that I'm looking forward to. Twisted Fate is definitely going to be a big one. You guys know I'm a mid laner. I will um, main mid lane, 95% sure. Maybe I will move to Marksman, but I, I'm 95. You guys know my Marksman is absolutely clown, okay? We gotta be, hey, we gotta main the mid lane. That's where I shine the most. And um, yeah, definitely looking forward to Twisted Fate. He is a really cool character that can just control the whole map. And I played him a lot um, in the PC, in PC League of Legends as well. Um, what else am I looking forward to? Of course, Orianna. I'm going to show her very soon as well. Um, she's um, she's similar to Kagura from League of, uh, from Mobile Legends because she she has that ball that she um, can control and place on the battlefield and use abilities around that ball. And one of them you already saw in that Malphite clip where he jumped in and then her ultimate pulled everyone to him. And that is gonna be a huge. Like, there, there were so many um, cool moments in esports where um, insanely good players use that to just hard carry their teams. And um, yeah, of course, Ezreal is my absolute favorite of all time. I'm very surprised that Aurelian Soul is actually getting introduced already in the alpha because I never played that hero. I quit PC League of Legends before that hero came out. So I'm really looking forward to uh, playing that new mid laner because I really like his mechanic where he has these stars that circle around him. It's going to be really fun to see. And um, yeah, of course, Ezreal, guys, one of my favorites. Um, I have like 1000 games, I think, in PC League of Legends. And 1000 games in League of Legends is per game 40 minutes, right? It's not AOV where I have 1200 Tulum games, but it's 10 minutes per game, right? It, it is six minutes per game with my Tulum because my team surrenders in six minutes. You already know, guys. Because I'm absolutely got I'm just kidding. Anyway, um, what I also showed there is um, Graves. I'm looking forward to Graves because he's just gonna be that Rourke, okay? He's very similar to Rourke. I already, um, Vex already told me as well that he will probably play a lot of Graves. Um, Vex, of course, used to be one of the best Rourkes in EU. Probably the best Rourke in EU, honestly. And um, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun to see all these um, old AOV players that. Um, quit um, returning and one more hero I want to showcase is actually Shivana. I played this hero a lot and he's a very branded hero. You can compare it to Arthur in um, Arena of Valor guys, okay? He's a super branded hero but they are changing her a little bit 
to where if she beats, if she kills, um, if she slays the dragon, depending on which one she slays, she gains true damage, she gains other bonuses, like, and you can see it even changes her effects. You saw her um, first ability made the ground shake a little bit and stuff. So it is really cool what they're changing. Um, of course, Ash, the ultimate was changed. A lot of people freaked out about that because you, now you can uh, like <laughs> you can like aim it while it's flying. It's not a straight line anymore. You can aim it with your joystick. So that's going to be really fun to see as well. So I'm really glad that they're changing some of these hero uh, heroes. Any that I showed in the first clip also was changed. Um, her first ability is a skill shot now. It has more range. So of course that's a not really a buff or a nerf. It's like a change. So yeah, it's going to be really cool to see. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my thoughts on Wild Rift. It is going to be super exciting. And um, yeah, I hope this just stopped. Okay. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I put some of my favorite clips together. Um, I, of course, I will link all the footage, uh, the video and an interview that I saw where um, the lead designer actually uh, gives us a lot of info. And in that video, he also pretty much confirms that they are still on track for the 2020 release, guys. So that is super exciting news because we will probably, most likely, be able to play this game in this year, okay? So that is super... Um, I was very, very glad to hear that because I really thought it would be delayed because they were kind of silent about it. But yeah, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like, subscribe for more Wild Rift content in the future and, of course, for my daily AOV videos. And um, yeah, I will see you guys the next time. Peace out, boys. Bye-bye.